Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here one Millie. How all my adventures are doing? Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day because we're going to be starting our new series that I did talk about that I was going to do. And that is playing a whole bunch of creature collector games. And this is going to be called Creature Treasure Hunt. And the reason I'm not calling it Steam Dumpster Diving is because the man myth is legend himself, R and Pineapple, already already kind of owns that one at this point where he's going around searching for a whole bunch of soul like um the reason i'm calling it treasure hunting is because we won't be sticking to steam we're going to be also going around to other indie game sites and looking for creature collecting games so if you guys have any recommendations put them down in the comments below maybe you know some new ones nobody's ever heard of or interesting ones that you enjoy and play so with that said this is Creature Treasure Hunt. Please don't expect any like insane editing from me like Pineapple's videos. I do not do all of that. All right. The first game is called Super Bullet Break, and it makes itself out to be more of a turn based deck builder along with some roguelike elements. Now also pronounce itself as a creature collector, so we're going to try it out and see how it is. It already combines two things that I love, which is card battling and roguelikes. So I definitely wanted to try it out. We're going to be trying out the demo because that's all I can currently do at the moment. But the game itself is currently, as we're speaking, on a discount, which is $8 for the next 18 hours. <laughs> the original price is $20. So if we actually, so if I actually do turn out to like this, I definitely will come back and grab it. The developers are BXI Inc. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, they are, this game was actually made in 2022. And his bio says, save the world of online multiplayer games from a rogue AI in this deck building strategy roguelike. Collect more than 160 cute and colorful bullets as you move through maps based on iconic game genres and defeat enemies in challenging turn-based combat. Sounds very up my alley, so let's go ahead and get started and see how it is. Okay, as we start, we already introduced to Nayata. I think that's how you pronounce her name. If I bullshit it, then they all will. And she's trying to give us a request apparently well you're something of a pro gamer dude people are questioning my gamer skills all day apparently <laughs> i questioned them too don't worry <laughs> so there seems to be a lot of messages that you can go through and this is actually like a common thing that uh, a lot of japanese games do You'll mostly see them in a lot of like waifu collectors when it comes to like um, gacha games. Doesn't seem like they hold any significance other than just story from what I see. Yeah, just seems like story. That's just pretty much it. But we did get a mission. We can go home now. Mission unlocked. I can't scroll down just to see how many of there is, but you know, that's fine. So it seems like there's probably other characters you can actually pick. So this is Black Cat, the one we're going to be working with to beat. I forgot her name already. But there's a boss that we need to beat. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. The perspective of her just being outside of uh, the game. Because we were asked to beat this. Okay, there's going to be a lot of cat puns already. That's all I'm going to be seeing is cat puns, aren't there? Okay, so we also see it from Nayata's 
point of view as well. Her room looks very in-game like. Are we sure she's not the villain that we're just playing through and not trying to break out? Ah, I just saw her name. Singular Lady. I probably butchered that or nailed it. I don't know. Okay. So how how to progress? You progress through the map by selecting blocks to move on. Making the map scroll towards the right. There are boss blocks at the end of every map. Maps are cleared by defeating the boss and missions are completed every map. Okay. Just standard, uh... What is, what is it? Standard, uh... Slate Aspire. Start various events involving characters. Lanterna. Oh god, I have to do quiz? Hold on a second. Oh god. I, I don't know anything about the game yet. Okay. You'll be quizzed. Okay. I give 300 gold. Oh no. I'm gonna get pranked. What's the name of the village girl who introduced the adventurers? I haven't even met that person that I know of. Um, we're just gonna have to take a shot in the dark and just say it's probably a generic name. Okay. I get a scout ticket at least. Oh, that's nice. Bye. Thank, thank you for putting anxiety on me for no reason. <laughs> Jerk. Okay, so do we want another interaction? Guess we'll have for another interaction. But apparently these are the characters that are going to be fighting for us. Select characters, bullets, at the lower half of the screen and attack the enemies. Depending on the type of battle, you win either by destroying all enemies or destroy the boss. Okay, so let's see. This one gains one attack based on the number of bullets you use this turn. So you would actually want to use her as a finisher. Okay. Reduce the damage taken however much shield you have. Discard a bullet upon attacking. Let's see. Draw a number of bullets from your magazine up to seven. And reduce however much armor you have. So I get to choose who I get rid of. Okay, cool. So these are my bullets. I'm currently trying to look at the cost. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so these characters are the deck building. Ah, I see. This is our turn timer. So, however much that's going for yep that's exactly what it is 
So these numbers decrease this, and once that is decreased, that's as much a uh, turn that we have. There's a way we can equal it up. We can gain shield, then we have this. Okay, that's actually pretty straightforward and neat. I like that. Oh, wait, it, re it keeps the reduced damage? Can we still heal it up? Hopefully. Uh, upon winning, you may receive either a blood or an item. If you don't want anything, you can skip. Okay, you can double your current shield. You can spawn an attack drone. Or you can gain a combo beam. And also a 5 shield. Hmm. So you have to look at these as cards. You can't look at them as characters. I guess that's what the creature collecting part comes into. Oh, they actually have full art for them too. That's neat. Today's enemies are quite quite a challenge. Okay, so we do have the rest option to rest, so we're going to take that rest. Why not? Alright, so we're fully recovered. So Talos can also be full recovers. So what's this? Ooh, there's a chest. And we're already getting multiple multiple enemies. Oh, it's a Mimic, of course. Why wouldn't it be a Mimic? Oh. Okay, never mind. I was about to say, we could still attack in these spots. Um, let's do... Should give us one more point on it. Oh, I don't like that your attack went up like that. Um, concern noises. Lots and lots of concern noises here. We would definitely have to kill this round. There we go. Because that was going to be a lot of damage. So let's see. This one has a two star on it. Makes me wonder is, is this, does it mean it's upgraded? Uh, penetrating. So I could probably just hit through defense, is basically what it's saying. Defense and shields. Armor and shield. That's the thing that I'm not sure is how armor and shield like together is like what is that doing? What does armor do? I know what shield does. What does armor do? Does it just reduce the damage? Does shield just because armor lasts a little bit longer for what I've seen. It just goes down by a percentage. Shield on our hand, I think it's just straight up defense. Not sure. Maybe they both are the same thing, but have different purposes. But anyhow, uh, gain plus two power every bullet in your hand. 
Uh, restore 100% of the damage you deal to HP. And then you have the regen along with uh, beat. Beam. Uh, hold on. This one's legendary. This bullet will always start in your hand. Do you want to try the beam thing? Sure, why not? Let's try the beam deck. If we could find more. Okay, here we go. Uh, restore HP. Uh, select a bullet cartridge to redraw. You can only select one of these three. So what's this? Let's see. Ah, okay. So you can swap like this with some somebody else. I think. I think that's what it's talking about. Um. Oh, because they have different like rings around them too. I just realized that. So you can change those like pretty easily. That's that's interesting. They're like little portraits. Uh that applies to lay. Ah, so it just actually swaps it out. I thought I was swapping it with a different monster but no you're actually like transforming it if you have two or more jeep uh wait hold on a second that just confused me because now i have to I have to think about do i even have that many oh okay so here's some items you can actually use or discard I kind of want to do that. Oh, I, oh, I had to right click. I was like, I can't move. Okay. Except the item allows you to see inside of lock boxes. Usable on treasure spots. Oh, another scouting ticket. Okay. One thing tells you... One thing tells you the content of the treasure, while the other lets you get a friend from the shop blocks. Oh yeah, we haven't touched the shop blocks yet. We completely skipped over all shop blocks. But let's do an elite one. Might take a little bit of damage. So what are these beats? Okay, so I can't see those, but I can see what I have.
And I think it's talking about the portrait. I think that's what it is. Yeah, it's talking about the portrait. Why is she jumping so much? No, oh, no. So curious about this. I don't have any shield. Now oh, this is gonna be actually like pretty difficult. Okay, then it just gives you the thanks for playing. Alright. That was actually a lot of fun. I actually like where it's headed. I actually might grab this before the sale ends. That's for sure. So if you guys want to see more on this, do let me know and down in the comments. But we're going to move on to the next game now. Alright, so this next one is called Roguemon. So this was also made by three people. And... Their names are Anti Dismiss, Hasio, and Natanko. Uh, this can be found on Itch.io if you guys are interested in this. I will have a link down in the description, like always. It seems like a, another roguelike, which seems to be the common thing with creature collectors at the moment. So I'm interested to see what this one is. Um, from what the bio says, or what bio there is of it, Roguemon is an action puzzle game where you defeat your own trainer wait what hold on a second <laughs> where you defeat your own trainer you must distract your trainer with battles before you get the gym badge and fully controls you that sounded weird battling is dangerous redirect your enemy's attacks and accidentally hit your trainer to whittle his HP to zero. Okay. Um, it sounds interesting. Guess we're gonna just see. The only way to control rogue monsters is to get the gym badge. That is, that is the most sketchiest gym I've ever seen. You must knock your trainer out before he gets the gym badge. Oh, okay. I see. I see where this is going. Because in Pokemon games, if you were to get a monster that's higher than a certain level without a gym badge, without a certain gym badge because it was capped they would the the pokemon would actually not obey you they would be pretty much rogue until you got that gym badge then they would obey you the gym badges were like a level cap for anybody trying to like capture like a level 70 and it's only like one gym badge in Yeah, okay. I see where this is headed.
Am I trying to? Oh. Wait, how do I confirm? Oh, intern. I was trying to figure out, man. I see you now. I, I, I get it a little bit more. So you have to hit your... Oh god, I have to keep going through this. There is no, like, fast skip. But, um... Basically, how you do it is you have to, like it said, accidentally hit your trainer while also hitting the monster. Does that not count as accidental? So it's basically skill shotting. Kind of just gotta balance it out. This is my HP. So I guess I have to shoot it within the range of the red, too. This is. This is weird. Ah, crap. Thank you. So you can actually get them to do it too. Okay, I got him. Gotta get that HP back up. If you could come up here, that'd be great. Oh god. I didn't like any of that. trying to decide. See how much we can get in. Oh god. Concern noises. Oh 
I would very much appreciate it if we just came down here. Ah. You little douche nugget. <laughs> ah. Okay. We're fine. Ah, crap. Oh god, hold on, hold on. So I gotta, gotta balance it out at this point. I kind of I kind of get where we're going with this. It's actually a lot easier than I thought. Cuz I could just come up to face and hit him. Oh god. But that can also happen too. So I gotta be a, a little bit careful at least. Come on, get him, get him, get him. We're so close. This rock has been my saving grace, honestly. Ah! Big Missing is gonna be my downfall. Ah, shit. Oh, that, that's fine. As long as you hit yourself. Are you juking ass? <laughs> of course. I, I now see oh god I now see how Pokemon act they 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 kind of listen up to me and then they don't I think you could also build up friendship and I think that would also be a thing that you can do there we go Dan the Peter Griffin pose is crazy <laughs> okay, so there's one more thing I want to see. I want to see what happens if you like fully tame too. Let's see that ending as well. Little fun short indie games. I do love them.
full approval. Wait. Wait. So, what if we just go up here to the gym leader? Is there even a gym leader? Oh, there is. Oh. Okay, that's the ending. <laughs> Alright, that was Rogemon. Seems pretty interesting. It's not, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be, like, expanded on. But it was definitely a fun little short game. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. All right, this next game is called Astral Arena. And this is how it starts. So this game is more of a another auto battler, I believe. But this one actually is pretty interesting because it kind of will remind you of Coliseum a little bit. The developers of this is The Game Garden. And apparently they do have it to be announced on Steam. So you guys can also go to it on Steam. Right now we're going to be playing the demo. It's bio it says command, combat, and create mystical monsters known as astrals. In this blend of monster tamer ro and roguelite with unique real-time combat. Oh, this is going to actually be pretty interesting. But another <laughs> another uh, creature collector roguelike. That's, it seems to be a theme that's going to be going on with this whole creature collector hunt. Alright, so let's see. What's this? Okay, so this is the typing. The type of advantages and everything. What beats what? Okay, so light beats shadow, but loses to plant. Sound loses to air and heat, but sound beats earth and magic. Shadow beats light, but loses... No, shadow loses to light but beats magic and plants. And plant beats shadow and shadow beats light. Seems like shadow is going to be the best thing, honestly, so far. But magic beats... Oh, so magic is neutral. It's basically the normal type. But loses to sound and goat. I was about to say ghost type. Sound and shadow. Voltage beats cold, but loses to earth and air. Air beats code, but no, air loses brain. Air loses to code, but air defeats voltage and sound. Okay, I basically get the gist of it. All right. Then there are different statuses called recharge and max HP, strength, strength resist, power, power resist, and mobility. Okay, how do I get out of this though? So. Okay, it was backspace. Okay, so backspace just resets the whole game. If I push shift, it brings up this. Ooh. Um, so control is the bag. So we have nothing at the moment. We don't even have any cores. So this is like a little training dummies we can come to. Oh. It corrects itself and goes to the first person once you start getting to collision. I mean, that's actually pretty nice. I actually like that idea. Uh, what's this? Status conditions. Oh god, how many pages are there? Okay, there's two pages. So, acidic... 
which content contact moves. So anything that's physical, you take one damage. Uh, lift. Wait, no. Inflicts one degrade. Okay, so it's basically like a sick armor. Anytime you get hit somebody, you take dot damage. That's what that is. Uh, lift, gain, mobility, per stack, uh, turbulence. Okay, has quite a bit of status effects. Let's see, acidic, anytime somebody hits you, they take one stack of degrade, and degrade is true damage, so that's just dot damage. Uh, lift, increase mobility, turbulence, range skills, fire at random directions. Uh, when not moving, you are immune to incoming status effects. Cut uh, mobility in half, reflect damage, uh, cutting resist, link to share, buffs and heals. Leech, so drain. Eat, so radius, take damage over time. Scorching for true damage. Okay, I, I get the, the gist of that as well. What about, okay, the next page. Growth is just a region. Rooted, we know how that goes. Try to immune to range skills. But the sacks here removed every melee hit. Shroud is probably going to be the most annoying one, honestly. If you have like a full range team. Okay, let's see. All right, the the rest of it's pretty pretty straightforward. All right. So what's up with table actually? I actually look at that. So it doesn't seem like we can make anything yet. Oh wait, hold on. I think we created one. I think. This is a bit confusing just to look at, not gonna lie to you. But this is a demo, so everything is placeholder. I actually don't know how far they're, they are in. Okay, so now I can see. Ah, so it is an auto battler. You can actually see how much damage they do and watch them walk around and stuff. So this guy's going to build up Shroud. You can add, like, new skills to them and stuff like that. I mean, I like the idea of this. This actually is pretty cool. Instead of just commanding them to fight, you're actually, like, watching them do it. That, that's actually very good content for, like, uh, anybody who's mostly, like, a gambling stream. You know, have prizes and stuff, and people can just, you know, gamba on it. I was like, that's actually a great Gamba game. Don't know how much I like control being the back button, but you know. Okay, so I can pick one of my challengers. So, I'm Shadow, right? Yeah, so I beat Plant and Magic. So we should pick a... Magic, so you. Die. Oh, okay. Once you accept, then you go in here. Oh, this looks neat. Ah, uh, there's no crowds. 
I was thinking there was going to be like little PNGs just jumping up, just going for Ray. <laughs> Come on, you got this, man. Oh, no, he's, he has a... Uh, what was it? Scorch? No, no, the most intense battle you've ever seen in your life. Oh no, Shadow loses to this, right? I think? I don't know. I think I might have mislooked at it. But this is fine. Don't worry about it. I think he could still win. Oh god, never mind. I take it back. He can win. <laughs> that star is OP. Jesus. Okay, so I can make another one now. I say, like, but that does take up a lot of time now. Oh yeah, I did mislook. No, I didn't mislook at it. Said Shadow was strong. Gets magic. Huh. Now that confuses me a little bit. Also, if this is still a thing, all your instructions, well, all of your controls at the bottom disappear when you're on that. That's that's not a fun experience if, if a player goes straight to this. I did see that this the last update was uh, 18 days ago. So I can look at my party now. Okay, so I can see where a few confusions for the demo can start. It's like, you just spawn me in front of this, and I'm just looking around confused. There's no task of, hey, do this. So some players could, well, some players with no game sense could be confused. All right, so let's see. We are Code and Earth. So, the main things that could take us out are heat and voltage. Oh no, voltage is out of question because we're Earth, if it's following like Pokemon logic. I think sound and heat would be the only thing that could actually like affect us. I do want the strength. Oh god. Alright, well I guess we're doing this. Oh no. We're gonna get one-shotted, aren't we? Oh, oh no, hold up, hold up. We have sharp. Oh god. Kind of weird typing advantage, uh... I haven't really seen that coming to play yet. Okay, so I can see how this is going to be very difficult. Okay, so, hold on. So what do we have? So we have a grass. 
a sound and a air. So would I want to build a code and fight the air? Because that's how that works, and my code should be no. Actually, that's ground, isn't it? Okay, so I can change skills if I don't like a certain ability. Okay, so here's where the things are going to come into play. So do we have all all four skills now? Is that what I've been missing out on? No. Okay, no, we do have all of them. It's just showing what he's charging. So all of my skills are on the right side. So I just haven't had any good skills so far. Wow, we do no damage, Jesus. Come on, buddy, you got a heal. I want to see how much how much your heal's going for. There it is. It's just 50. <laughs> just 50 heal. Okay, it's regening. Okay, it's getting there. He just can't hit anything to save his life. Now he's just spamming heals. They're also just looking at each other. Oh, this is going to be a long fight. So... Okay, so you can get them to do different things. Kinda. So you can rotate, like, battles. Well, rotate them out. Uh, you don't have any... Mouse movement. It's all purely, uh, keyboard. From what I'm seeing. Like, we're constantly missing. What are you aiming at? Mm. 
Target the enemy. <laughs> Dude, he's letting us down. I was like, this guy's hitting all his shots. <laughs> this is gonna be a while, guys. I was like, this will be the only flaw I could actually like seeing with this game is that it could it's gonna last a long time. And there doesn't seem to be a speed up option for what I'm seeing. But overall, like if you want like a very long stream with a game like this, that could that could be possible. You could just commentate over it. <laughs> Wait, is the stone? Okay, I thought the stone thing was an attack. It is. It is definitely not. Noted. Oh, I guess I'm getting typing like mixed up. Am I? And also the weather is shifting as well. That's also another thing. Like if you're looking at the top right, it's it's slowly been changing. So it's kind of windy out here. Don't worry about it. I see a lot of potential inside of this game. That's for sure. But I will say, hopefully they don't just stick it towards arena because if they were to make like a second game that you know kind of went off this it, it could actually be interesting mm -hmm. to have like an actual like open world type of situation or similar to pokemon to where it's like mm -hmm. running through instances stuff like that mm -hmm. i'm curious if they plan on having it uh multiplayer online curious of what the end game for themselves are going to be is it going to be cosmetic stuff like that because you have to have an end game to where you can collect stuff as well I say that's always a plus than just, you know, just straight up battling towards, you know, no progression. For viewers, we get a kick out of it. Oh, did my ability just level up? Because now I have more healing. Because it doesn't say anything about... Oh, okay. Ice moves just went up. That's what it is. So, the weather does affect battling towards, like, abilities. Not, like, anything else. It's abilities. Range versus <laughs> melee. Even though we do have a range attack, he's choosing mostly mostly every other ability under the sun. Oh no, he's taking less damage now. And he's still unable to hit the enemy. Alright, alright. Um, dear god. And okay, now that we understand it a little bit more, let's let's see. So, light. Let's let's take a light, and we're gonna make a plant if we have plant. Do we have plant? No, we do not have plant. 
to set up light, I guess we'll go magic. Okay, magic is pretty neutral to everything. Let's make him. And then change his abilities. Let's just have that as one of our big moves. And I guess we can have the sharpen. Well, I guess we wouldn't want the sharpen if we're going to be taking away their damage. It's another llama turtle. Mm. Well, technically, mm -hmm. alpaca. Alpaca turtle. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, he missed. <laughs> Gonna charge a long ability, buddy. Uh oh. Oh no, not this again. Ah, there you go. Got the big damage on now. Hit him with another one. Smack his face. Smack his stupid face now. He's going over to punch him. It's like, take that, stupid. Oh no, he missed. Come on, Rock. You can't. You can't lose this. We're locked in. One more attack. There you go. So I got one victory, and I got the rewards for that. So. This increases HP, raw power, and strength, so I could just use this. So I'm wondering, does that... Yeah, that just heals. That doesn't do anything else, that just heals. So doesn't it seem like I can make another party just yet. Even though I'm looking at the Steam page, it seems like there's three of them fighting up together. This is what it looks like. So, Voltage. So, I want to fight a Code or... So we're gonna do one more. See how this goes. Then we're gonna switch over. 
All right, Rock, you got this. Just another turtle. Take it down. There you go. I can't go up, I can't go down. I can only go side to side. Uh oh. No, Rock, not like this, buddy. You got this. Rock, no! This is the end of Rock. He's tried his hardest. Especially if you set it up to be, like, completely random. This is gonna actually make an amazing Gamba game, for sure. Just have like a battle watching setting and a Twitch chat like integration to where people can vote, stuff like that. I say like, that's something for the developer to do himself to advertise the game. That could actually that can actually work too. But I'm mostly interested to see like is the are these going to be the only monsters he has in mind, or will there be a lot more? Because so far, uh, this is... All we've seen so far is, seems to be it. I mean, there's a few more that we haven't seen, like... Uh, no. Actually, we've seen all of them. We've seen the star, the rock, the bat, and this creature. And the little box wolf thing, whatever that is. The alpaca and the rock. So we've seen everything so far from what I've seen. But yeah, actually a pretty neat game. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how they approach everything. I say not bad just off of the demo. I say I'm sure that they're, that they're going through a lot of other things. Like the last update they sent was, let's see. New animations for all the astrals. Let's see. Items now have images. More visual and status for status effects. Uh, they've now have a item drop rebalance to appear early. Uh, item buff and new control remappings. You can disable tutorial and refactored UI, new UI effects, and various bug fixes. So they also enhance combat UI, um, new damage info, and astral stat rebalances. Astrals now use randomly random equipped skills if no skills are equipped so it actually regen actually generates those okay uh enemy rebalance new skills effects and skills refactor for improved visibility new weather system and nature and new nature synergy system Astros with shared nature now boost and encourage team building for two for two v two and three v threes. Self targeting skills now also used usable and auto target user. Astro now face their target and strafe rather than always facing the direction they're moving. Okay. So that's their last update. And that was June 22nd. So they're still actively working on the game. So do show them some love and support on the demo, which I'll leave down in the description. With that said, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, the last one for this video, just cause I kind of want to keep this a little bit of a short little start. And then we'll start building up a more towards the series. 
But this one is called Slime Garden, and this one was made by Jared Devs. And the description of this one is Slime Garden is a game inspired by Slime Rancher and Pocket Frog. There are over 1,000 combinations of slime to discover, find, and tame slimes to take back to your habitat. Use a slime artifact to combine slimes into new, unique combinations. You can plant and harvest a variety of crops and design to your heart desire. There are plenty of tasks to do and rewards to unlock along the way. And from what I've seen, barely anybody has touched the game. Uh, the last update on this game was 2023. And that was... Oh, so I guess it's done. Because this is its version 1. 1.1. And barely anybody has played it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna change that. We're actually gonna change that. Let's see. Hello, welcome to your very own slime garden. This land is yours to make your own. Fill it with adorable slimes, farm crops, and design it as you please. Get acquainted with the habitat using the WASD to move around and the scroll wheel to zoom in and out and Q to change perspectives. You would need to change perspectives. You can shift to move, move moving speed. Perfect. It looks like two new slimes are already called this place is home. You can move the slimes by holding oh, and dropping in that location. Fucker just extends to God. I saw his little angry face at first. I like the mapping. As a little... This actually fits very well. The pixel art actually fits very well with this map. Okay, so you could just turn it around. That's, that's what they mean about change perspective. If the cursor turns red, it's not a safe place to leave them. If you move them outside of the habitat, they will move. They will be moved back in. If you wanted to get a closer look at the slimes, you can right click. This will show you the basic info and rename them. Uh, I would like it if. As soon as we did that, this tutorial would go off to the side a little bit. Just so we can actually see the info. So it doesn't double stack on the top of each other. Why don't you try it now and expect... Okay, so now we can expect... It. Okay. Okay, so these do nothing. You can also release them if you don't want them. Now that you are introduced, now that introductions are out of the way, I'll let you get to it. Okay. Cool. Task board. Oh, stuff up here. Okay. And now I can actually collect stuff. Nice. The task board will allow you to complete various tasks and earn rewards. First few tasks will help you get your garden up and running. Oh, after you check check out the task board, you may want to use the hot balloon to travel to wild zones and find more slimes. So you also have a shop where you can place those as well. What's this? Oh, that's a trash can so we can destroy stuff. Oh, 
Okay. So we use the hot air balloon. This is very clever so far. Last age. It isn't like extremely complex. Oh, well, I thought the mapping wouldn't be like extremely complex, but apparently it is. Oh, hi. So. Do I? Oh, wait. Do I make food and bring it back here? That's what's going on. I have no seeds. But we can't place a tree. Okay, so now, oh, okay. Whoops. You can press R to rotate. If you play something in the wrong space and change your mind, you can get rid of it with the destruction tool. Well, destroy tool. It will even be refunded the cost. You just unlock some gardening supplies, place them inside of your garden. Okay, let's let's do that. And there is the last of what we need there. Okay, so now we have a garden pot. Oh, uh, we actually got some, um, some of those gym packs. I'm going to call them gyms. Okay, so we can actually make actual towels for this. So do we have to water them or I don't think I don't think we have to water them. I think it's just gonna be an overtime thing. Oh crap. Got cried the green thumb. So I unlocked the melon. They're actually good for taming wild slimes. If you already have, if you haven't already, be sure to water. I've seen a watering tool. Wait, do I actually have water? Okay, that's how you do it. You just click it. There we go. Okay, that that's actually a lot more simple than I thought it was. I do want you guys to know that, well, since we're towards the end of this series, well, not serious, this video, um, if you guys do want to see a certain game turned into a series during this playthrough, or during these hunts, Okay, I will let it be known now. If you guys do enjoy a certain game that I was playing, do make sure to let me know in the comments because I could turn it into like a little mini series and play it a lot more for you guys.
if you guys want to see more do let me know otherwise i'm just gonna keep going okay we our character done and not even think anything of it okay so we leveled up okay so we could choose oh no we already have this so there's our little xp bar right there But yeah, that's all you guys got to do is just let me know. The knowledge is, uh, try and continue the series as much as I can. I need one more gem for you, one of you. One of you guys give me a gem, please. Just, just one more. No, you're fresh out. Thank you. Okay, so let's go try and tame a slime now. Okay, it's gonna take a while for them to spawn in. So now I'm curious. Are are the slimes picky at all about their uh food? Is that how this is all gonna get started? Yeah, there's like a giant zone over here. Oh. Oh, this is outside the map. For some reason, you can look outside of the map. So there seems to be a lot of places that could be like considered like secret areas where a slime could probably join join and show up. Okay, yeah, here we go. You don't want that? You know what? That's fair. I think I can grab that back, right? Ah, there we go. So I leveled up. I don't think I have enough to try and get you. The thing I don't like is that I now have to hunt for the air balloon again. Oh, never mind. I guess I wasn't going too far away from it. We don't look like it. <laughs> so, I did this. Now I have a fence that I can change. Okay, levels can earn you new buildings and track new species of slime and more okay so now we can actually like do the whole slime fusion okay as you farm and level new species will appear in the wild you can unlock the slime artifact oh i just unlocked the slime artifact um CS up. Oh, it require some points. Oh crap, I didn't even water these. You know what? This slightly reminds me of a uh, Vina Pinata. Vina Pinata is actually technically a creature collector. I just realized that. Should I do other titles as well? Like Triple A titles. I'll, I'll let that be your guys' decision because there's probably some games that some of you guys have probably never heard of that I can actually play. Vina Pinata. There's a. Um, there's also something else I could play. Pokemon Hacks as well. Those those actually exist as well. Thank you. I'll take that carrot. Uh, apparently we can, I don't know if we can place it down just yet. Okay, no, we can't.
Oh, it requires four. Um, I need one more. When you guys poop out one more. Just one more. Thank you. Negative four. Oh, I have to feed them as well. Oh. Oh, no. I actually have to pay attention to your guys' health. Oh, joy. Didn't I feed you, like, thousands of things? Why are you hungry again? It do be like that sometimes, you know? Just why are you hungry again? It's just... Are always hungry. Okay, so now... Oh, we should be doing a quest. The miracle of life. Baby slimes, are they... Are they so cute? The slime artifact will randomly place color. Oh, base color and patterns. Over time, slime slime will age and grow to mature size. Baby slimes don't produce any crystals, but they are worth up. But they make up with it with their adorableness. No, they don't. They're fucking useless. Get out of my garden if you're not gonna if you're not gonna pay rent. Oh damn. The fucker grew. Hold on. Just make more carrots. Because we have to go out and get more slime. Oh, so different foods will give different amounts. Okay, noted. So that one liked um, carrots a lot more. Hunger will affect the growth and the worth of uh, crystals and maturity. However, slimes don't need food to survive as they get the energy from the sunlight. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. Release a slime into the wild. Can you get off of that? You're mature enough. Go, go to the world. Okay, so you get points for returning them. Release a slime will... Oh. Uh, a release slime will return to the wild and be safe sound. Slimes love living in your habitat, but wish to be really excuse me. Allergies are going on. <laughs> but if you wish to release them back to the wild, they understand. It's a neat little wholesome game. A little neat little wholesome game. Honestly, you would want to build a garden, like, way, way more than anything. Ah, oh, look at the wrong thing. My bad, being a goober. Okay. So, now I want to water it. Can I just... Okay, no, you can't hold and just hover over it. Yeah, I should have to click all of them one by one.
let's go to the wild and see if we can find anything else while that's going on. Oh, there's a purple. Oh, instantly. I was like, oh, dude, is there more of this back at your base? Say less. <laughs> Hold on. Is there another one? I just want at least two more to take home. I don't see another one. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, just a little shelf? Is this where trophies or something go? I don't think so. Okay, there's... there's a different one. Alright, we got it. Oh, crop art. So we also have that now. Seems to be a lot of stuff we can actually get. So this is where you can start selling your props. Oh wow, that didn't grow at all. So if I put you on there, how much would you guys cost? Five? Okay. Well, uh, what about... Yep. Uh, you little yellow-blue, okay. Okay, so now we have balances out there now. Okay, so you can't drag and plant. So you get one more point. For what we just put in there. Oh, this is a little neat. Not gonna lie to you, this this, this is a little neat. Not gonna lie. There's no music though. That's something that I was kind of shocked about. That there is not a single drop of music. I think mean, at least little, little happy wholesome music or something to really set the tone. Something light. Hmm. I mean, the ambience isn't, like, too bad, but, you know, I was expecting some little little wholesome music that I could just add to my playlist. Oh, God. I didn't get to see what that was. Now I keep pushing escape to try and get out, but I just supposed to scroll wheel. Okay. So garden stepping stones. Okay, so no more tutorial. We're out of tutorial now. And now we're just going after tasks and rewards. So we got a little bit of rocks and stuff that you can start like building with. Nothing new towards like the fruit side. So well, not fruit, uh the seed side so far. Seems like the same thing is still going on. Nothing too sporadic in that area. 
So let's go. Do we have enough? Let's see. No, I don't think we have enough for another slime. Maybe, maybe we do. Actually, let's go out and see. I remember the last one, I think, needed six, right? It doesn't seem like the farm actually grows while you're gone. I think it pauses itself. It's what it seems like it does. Not too sure. Come on, let's see if we can find a yin yang. But then again, I think that one will definitely require a lot more, right? Oh yeah, there you are. Okay, now we got it. Nice. So now I'm curious of what's I could what's that gonna make if I this oh yeah see for some reason the, the plants don't grow if I'm gone at least that's what it feels like what do you make okay no nah, it, it just takes the colors that's that's pretty much all it does is just take the colors it doesn't like make some like trippy stuff or have a chance of trippy stuff from what it looks like Oh, uh, I can change the border. Okay, so now I can upgrade habitat to make it, I guess, larger. Okay. That looks very weird. I wish there was like an auto feeder to where I could just put there and they would just go to it and, you know, eat whenever they're hungry. to see if I gave those some more food how much would they drop okay it just seems like it's just gonna be threes nothing like too special so far so how much do I get for selling one of these okay so that adds two extra so the seeds are all right for income but it's it would also be like very time consuming other than like going back out and getting more slimes, you would be sitting here farming a lot more often. So yeah, that that's that's where we're gonna leave that. I was say it is actually a pretty decent wholesome game, that's for sure. I say there seems to be quite a lot of tasks and if they're saying like over a thousand combination is probably going to be color wise but I am curious of what other patterns they do have that'd be the only other thing oh well there it is instantly come with me buddy so now we have the comb it actually looks like a pineapple <laughs> Can I rename you to Pineapple? No, I can't. So let's do this. I'm hoping for blue and yellow. Nope. White and blue. Need to care, you little douche. I'm gonna eat my carrot. What? My carrot's not good enough for you? Ah, you degenerate. 
I, I slave over a hot garden and you just don't accept it? I was say, apparently there's trees here that you could plant. So, hold on. What do, what do these do? I also can't take back my carrot, by the way. Kind of upset about that. <laughs> like, my carrot, dude. Okay, guys. I'm gonna need you to quit trying to... Oh, shit. Listen here. Listen here. Stop. Cease. You guys keep trying to auto combine yourselves, and I'm gonna need you to stop. I'm leaving it over here in the corner. Nobody touch it. You lose a lot more, like, crystals that way, though. I just realized. Wait, did that give me something? Wait. I mean, I just collected it. I don't think it gave me anything. What if I right click? No. Hold on. What if I go out here? Mm. Oh, you can actually collect the fruits outside, too. I just realized that. Oh, that's actually neat. Thank God you can actually do that. Okay, so we can't collect shrooms. Shrooms are shrooms are not not in the cards apparently. Seems like they're growing over here as well. There's a carrot. So there's a little bit of other explorations in here too. Okay. Oh, more carrots. Hi, you. Oh, you're a hungry little bitch. Thank you. So now we have a painting tool. So how does the painting tool come into play? I was wondering if we just dipped our paint into the slime and just painted it. <laughs> Okay, so left click the place. Oh. So you can change the change the color of the items you already put down. That's what it is. Ah, your decorated items. Alright, that's pretty neat. So there there seems to be a lot more than what I was initially thinking you could find. Like, Jesus. Alright, I, I, I kind of like this. But, um, yeah, we're gonna end it off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the series. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to the outro. While also still doing this, apparently. <laughs> I have an addiction. It, it needs to stop. Alright, so that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and found some new things that you want to try. I'm also still looking around, so... Yeah, the, the hunting is going to be a little bit slow at the moment. But we're going to we're gonna try and fastly speed that up. Especially if you guys have any recommendations yourself and help me look around for some creature collectors that you actually enjoy. Uh... I might do 
AAA titles as well. Because there probably could be some that some people still haven't heard of. Like Nexomon. Apparently a lot of people... There's quite a bit of people who've never played Nexomon, so that probably could be on the next one. But we shall see. But I do want to play some more obscure ones. You know, some of them that are kind of pushing the line between Creature Collector and not. Uh, the only reason I'm actually doing this series, if you guys are new to the channel, is because I'm looking for inspiration and ideas for my own game, which is Monster Girl Utopia. If you guys are new to the channel, Monster Girl Utopia is basically a creature collector with that's going to have dungeon crawling, exploration, and all types of like gears, dungeons, and plenty of waifus for you guys to collect. But at the moment, uh, we are still in very early stages of that project, but we will keep growing and... I'll keep uploading devlogs on it. While also playing other games that I personally enjoy, such as, you know, some horror games and some other games that are, like, very popular on release that I've been looking forward to, like Wukong is coming out soon, and I desperately want to play that as well. So, with that said, I will leave it off there and let you guys explore the channel if you guys are interested in any of the other content I've actually put up or if you guys are looking forward to future uploads. Thank you guys for your support and I appreciate it. But until then, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.